We're going to look at proper lunging mechanics. Lunges are a great exercise for the lower body. They're definitely functional and they're applicable to everyday movements, but it's also something that's taught incorrectly often and we see a lot of poor mechanics on it. I'm going to have Wendy first show you improper form. Hold there on the bottom. A lot of times we'll see somebody with this bolt up right torso. Think about this. It's a forward moving exercise. Go ahead and bring it up. Take it easy on your knees there. It's a forward moving exercise and as such when you walk forward we're not leaning back and we're not staying bolt upright. You want to be moving in into a little bit. So go ahead and show us a little bit better alignment now on this forward lunge. What you're going to notice here is that there's a little bit of a lean. What that helps us do is load the hips a little bit better, get a little bit more glute involvement. It's as if you were moving forward. So don't worry about this bolt upright position. Doing so will probably put a little bit more stress on your knee and most people may not have the hip flexibility to really pull that off as well. So step back and let's see a good full speed sagittal plane lunge. There you go, a lunge in back, fantastic. Now face that way and let's look at a frontal plane variation. Hold it on the bottom for me. What we're looking for here is a nice alignment of the knee in alignment with the toe. The torso should be upright, go ahead and shoot it back, not bending over to the side of the torso. Let's do another. Fantastic. The other leg is straight. Notice both feet are pointing straight ahead. Now let's get a transverse plane lunge. We can add a degree of rotation to this, whatever you're comfortable with. Wendy is considerably more controlled than I would be doing this, so she can rotate to a greater degree. Start with a small amount, make sure your client owns it, and then progress it as they're able to control it. There it is. Great lower body exercise, the lunge.